Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the Salesforce extensions that are going to help in your productivity when it comes to Salesforce development. So for some of you who are very new to Salesforce development, extensions in VS Code are like applications that you that you can install and that will extend the functionalities of your VS Code and which will help you develop your code more efficiently. So let's divide this entire video into three categories of extensions. The first category is going to be the extensions that will help you write and uh, write uh, Salesforce code, be it uh, Apex or be it Lightning Web Components. And that category is basically code completer. First, let's discuss about the Apex. So in Apex, we have something called as Apex snippet or Salesforce snippet rather. I'm going to show you how to install and how to look at the documentation as well. So let's go and find out the extension. And these extensions are on top of the uh, Salesforce extension pack. Now Salesforce, Salesforce extension pack is something that is required for you to be able to develop Salesforce uh, related code in your VS code. So these are on top of that. These are not a part of the Salesforce extension pack. So this is Salesforce snippet. So this is the extension. If you scroll down, you would be able to see the documentation documentation for it. The installation is pretty much simple. We can just click on install. And you can also see the documentation, how to use it. So after installing the extension in VS Code, the snippet will start appearing automatically when a file with appropriate language is opened. Each snippet has a really short trigger text snippet prefix, which you can type in uh, in VS Code. And the VS Code IntelliSense will show the available snippets. So let's go ahead and check this out. If I go back to the Explorer, I already have a class created, which is say hi. As the example says, let's try to write test method. And if we click on it, skeleton of how to write a test method. So it is basically is test static void method name and all of that. So this is how you can use it. And let's quickly move on to another example. But this time we would see how to use the same for LWC. So for LWC, you can again go to the extension part and let's search for an extension, which is LWC snippet. Yeah, so let's go ahead and install it quickly. And again, you can go to go through the documentation and see how to use it. I'll quickly go back and demonstrate it for you. Let's create a lightning web component really quick. And let's name it demo. Okay, so here it is. Now, how it works is basically you want to write something that will trigger the uh, automation that will generate the code for you. So first of all, you can simply write something like this, IMP and then colon. And then let's see. If we write get record so here is the suggestion if i click on this it will import it for you so you, you can see it has imported get record from lightning record ui record api now again if you go inside and if you want to write a wire you can simply 
this right wire and as soon as you click on this it will show you the boilerplate code and with some minor changes you can modify it and use it directly so again let's get rid of this and move on to our next uh, category of uh, extensions and the next category is going to be a pmd and what a pmd does it basically uh, dynamically reads your code that you're typing and tells you if you are following the best practices or not and warns you if there are some warnings so we are going to see it for apex and the extension that i'm going to use is apex pmd let's install it and i have an apex class created here so if you see right now you won't be able to figure out if there is something wrong with this so uh, apex class everything looks perfect but we have made some mistakes in this apex class and it will show when the installation is finished for that particular extension look at it now we have two problems in this apex class according to the pmd extension that we have just installed it is showing that apex classes should declare a sharing model if dml or socal is used that is if i go ahead and use something like public with sharing then this uh, warning should go away again you should uh, validate the crud permission before making a socal query so in this what we are going to use it with security enforced all right so now all the problems have gone away and this is how you can use apex pmd to follow the best practices and that this will make your code more robust and more reliable now the third category is basically the documentation of your classes so anything that you are writing in apex you need to document it properly so that the next developer after you who is going to uh, work on the same class knows what the class or the method that you have written is about in a very short period of time you would be able to figure it out and for that we use something called as salesforce document click on the install uh, button and once it is installed you go back to your apex class and this is how you can use this so we have a description you can write a description of your apex class like apex class that gets a list of accounts in the documentary you can write your name like whatever name you are using as a developer in your org and this also goes for the methods that you are writing you can simply right click and insert the method header over here So that is all for today's video guys uh, thanks for watching and if you do find it helpful drop a like and share this video with your friends